hi what's up it's your boy sports wizard and welcome back to another video on my channel today we're going to be doing fifth pitch versus Isner French Open third round so let's get right into it guys before we start this uh, prediction I did do two matches earlier those being Medvedev versus Opalka and it's very versus last year's year so if you guys want to go check them out uh, you guys can so yeah anyway I think six plus will win a four score at seven five six seven six four six three mode hard. So yeah, I mean you guys might be a little bit shocked. Six plus and four, he might win in straight sets, but but I'll tell you why. So the reason why I picked him in four because it's definitely going to be like people are saying three, like I I was seeing three tight sets, but I'm like no that can't make sense because if it goes to a tiebreak, is not gonna win it. So I decided four sets. So uh, like three tight sets would be something like seven six seven five or seven six or something like that, right? Um, but if it probably goes to a tie break, it's gonna have the odds to win it. So that's why I chose four because I can't really do three tight sets because I mean, like I checked the tie breaks count and all the matches total they play like five or six tie breaks. I just thought it's gonna win like four tie breaks out of those five or six so that's why i think like the odds are in isner to win the tie break so that's why i didn't do three tight sets because if it probably goes to, like like to a tie break isner is probably gonna win it so that's why i didn't in four so in the first set it's still gonna be pretty tight i think they're both gonna pl be playing really well but uh you know i think i think this person will be too good in the first in the top in the in the first set well yeah i forgot we have to do the uh, Analyzation, sorry. Sispas has six titles. He's number five in the world. He went to the French Open semifinals before. He's an aggressive baseliner. He's an all-court player. He has powerful ground strokes. He has a good serve. His Sispas has highest grand slam result in the semifinals in which he achieved an Australian Open twice and French Open once. He's the highest rank Greek player in history and number five in the world. He won Monte Carlo Open and reached the Barcelona Open final this year. Has won 15 titles. His highest rank is number eight. His current rank is number 34. He went to the Wimbledon semi-final semi obviously in 2018, losing a thriller match to Kevin Anderson. He went to the U.S. Open quarterfinals. He went to the French Open fourth round and the Australian Open fourth round. He has one of the best serves on tour, like arguably the best serve on tour. He's really good at tablets, and that's something they even mentioned on his Wikipedia page. I usually get these analyzations from there. So... But yeah, they even mentioned that he's really good at tablets, which I mean, that, that's really something. That's why we put fifth fifth and four instead of three tight sets. So Isner also has a powerful forehand, but not necessarily always accurate. He has a good net game, and he's not a great mover. He likes to usually do like a big big serve and then big forehand, and that's how he, like, he likes to end points. The Hunter has three, two, six, but they've never played on clay. So yeah, in the first set, I think six person will go all out, all out aggressive. He's gonna be hitting winners. He's gonna be hitting aces. But the aces kind of won't be nearly as much as Isner. Isner is probably gonna hit like ten or fifteen aces in the first uh, set itself. But the thing with it is that he doesn't have great grand strokes, and I think that will cost him. And the second thing is that he he doesn't have he, he's not a great mover. So I think both things will cost him throughout this whole match. So I think six will be too good because he's gonna ma be making Isner move around, and Isner is not a great mover. So six best will take the first one, and the second one I think they're both gonna be like tight, tight. You know, Isner will hit a lot of aces. Um, uh, like you know, he's gonna hit a couple of winners as well. Six best will hit a lot of winners. He's gonna hit a couple of aces. You know, so they'll be all tight. But uh, but when it goes to the tie break, I think Isner is just gonna be, go all out aggressive with his forehand, and he's he's just gonna keep whipping up, and then he's gonna win the tie break. So he'll win the second set. In the third set, I think that's where six best just takes like cruise control you know he hits a couple of winners he makes isner move around he waits some he waits for the time to pounce on isner and hit a winner you know he just keeps rallying with isner until isner hits it out and that's something isner's lack of good ground strokes and the fact that that he's not a great mover is something that will cost him but on the positive side he does have a lot of stamina he played the lo the longest match in tennis history, 11 hours, and won it. The longest match in tennis history, which was doubles, and the longest si singles match in tennis history. And he also played the Wimbledon semifinals, three-year against Kevin Anderson, which was the longest match 
the longest the fourth longest match ever as well so he played he played the longest match in doubles longest match in singles second longest match in singles and fourth longest match in singles so the last stamina is really good but it won't be enough six plus will keep hitting one so he's gonna make isner move around you know he's gonna keep rallying with isner and he's gonna win and the fourth one i that just think that isner i mean he's getting older so i think his stamina like you know uh, he's, he's getting older and he's also not in his best shape because in 2018 he was in the peak of his powers. So yeah, I think I think he, he'll just like his stamina will reduce and Sisper will just keep rallying with them. Hit hit a couple of winners, hit a couple of aces. I mean Isner will hit a lot of aces, but it still won't be enough. And yeah, Sisper will win. So yeah, this is my prediction. Do make up. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Guys, I'd really appreciate it if you guys like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. And guys, thank you so much for 35 subscribers. Let's see if we can hit 36 subscribers. So yeah, with that being said, I'll see you next time. And peace.